Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is TB here from Ink and Babes. And in today's video, we are actually going to be going through a very detailed um, explanation of how to get started with the cash envelope stuffing method. But this is specifically for those of us that's on a low income. So low income is very different to middle income and extremely different to high income. And I can't say that everybody is on low income. I know specifically from my family and my financial situation, we are on the low income or I would say lower middle class. And while I do not really care of the class or wh whatever category people want to squeeze me in, I want to be able to relate to people that are in the same boat as me. And I am in the low income boat. I do not have enough money to comfortably have, you know, funds set aside for sinking funds, saving challenges, bills, everything that I want in my life. I don't have those funds. And so understanding where you are in your financial situation, your financial cash flow helps you to know where you want to go. If you don't have a roadmap, how are you going to know where to go? There is a certain starting point, And in this video, just might be your starting point. Hopefully you find this video inspiring. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial... I am a financial professional. I have done banking for nine years. I currently work in financial operations. So I know a little thing or two about finance. But please take my the information that I share here with a grain of salt. My situation is different from your situation. All right, so now let's get started on exactly what you need to get started with the cash envelope stuffing method before you even consider any of these things that I'm going to show you before you purchase anything. Is this the right method for you? Have you done your research? Can you understand what the process is all about? You need to know what is going to be required of you to be very successful on the cash envelope stuffing method. And for those of um, those of us on low income, we kind of go through some struggles, you know, I can't speak for middle income, I can't speak for high income, I can only speak from my own experience. There are some struggles that we go through that, that, you know, middle income and high income might not go through. And you need to figure that all out before you even get started. At the very bare minimum, to get started with the cash envelope stuffing method, you're going to need a budget binder. You can find budget binders almost anywhere. And if you hear background noise, guys, we have a party going on today. Um, the kids are watching a movie right now. We're gonna have, it's my twin's birthday today. I'm actually supposed to take this day off, but I, I wanted to get some videos out because I'm working every day. So if I don't try to make an effort to get this information to you, you know, somebody, somebody needs to hear this message. So I'm obligated to spread the good news about cash stuffing. You're going to need a budget binder. You can find budget binders on Amazon. You can find budget binders on Etsy. You can find budget binders on AliExpress and all of those little... Uh, you can find budget binders on Shein. Now, I've never purchased from Temu, so I'm not going to recommend them. In fact, I, I thought I saw something in the news about them stealing credit card information, but that's none of my business. With that said, I'm very biased towards Shein. I don't have any issues with Shein. I've not had, I've not experienced any credit card issues. Uh, Shein has not made the news, although there were some issues about child labor and all this stuff. That's none of my business. That's a separate video, a whole different topic. However, this budget binder that I have here is from Amazon. Now, the prices can range from around 8 euros to maybe up to 15, 16 euros, depending on what your budget is. I... I think when you're getting started, you need to just go cheap, especially if you're on a low income. I have a bunch of stuff that's just catching dust in my hallway at this very minute. So I have wasted money on just buying too much stuff. Don't make the mistake of thinking you need to have the this, the that, the matching this, the matching that, the this, the that, the this, the that, the this, the that, before you even get started. Because you need to figure out, does this method work before you start investing in more stuff? When you see it works, then you expand, then you invest. At minimum, you need a budget binder. Most budget binders on Amazon do come in envelopes. These are not the envelopes that this budget binder came with. These are my envelopes. I ended up buying a bunch of them because I love them. I don't want the zipperless one because when I close my budget binder, they just take up too much space. And I feel like these envelopes, the zipless envelopes work for me. I do know people make custom envelopes that have categories. Um, this is my savings challenge binder, right? I have four main binders. I'm going to show you the bills binder. 
So you can actually get envelopes that have categories with them. Um, the envelopes from Amazon that I have previously ordered actually came with category stickers. And when I bought this binder, it did, it did come with the zipper envelopes and it came with little stickers. And again, it, you know, it's at bare, at the bare minimum, those are fine, you know, but for me, I, um, I love a specific look. So I kind of invested in some vellum sheets and some laminating sheets and I made my own category inserts for my envelopes. If your budget allows, customize your binder the way that you want it because you're gonna be more motivated. Every time I open this binder, I'm very proud of what I've done with it. And so that encourages me to want to cash stuff even more. There are days I don't even have money to cash stuff in here, but I go through my binder and I just flip through and I see the progress that I've made. Now, this is my bills binder. I actually go in my savings challenge binder to see the progress that I've made. So again, a budget binder, you're going to need some cash envelopes because that's why it's called the cash envelope stuffing method. You need envelopes to put the cash into and you need to know your categories. I would say if you're just getting started, there should be at least three or four binders that you're going to need for your cash envelope stuffing. And it depends on which budget method you go with. If you're doing a zero based by the budget, you, that means you need a cash envelope for every single category that you're assigning your money to. If you're just cash stuffing for savings challenges, then you just need a binder for savings challenges. If you're just cash stuffing for sinking funds, then you need a binder for sinking funds. And I split my sinking funds into short-term sinking funds and my long-term sinking funds. Uh, if you're just going to be cash stuffing your everyday weekly expenses, then you just need a binder for your everyday week week weekly expenses. You need to know what you're prepared to do for this cash envelope stuffing method before you get started. That way you'll kind of know I need four binders and you're not wasting time doing impulse purchases. Have everything organized before you actually even get started. So I'm going to go through my binders. I have four main binders. This one is for my bills binder. And because I'm not physically cash stuffing my euros as yet, I will be, I'm using prop money to represent the physical cash that's on my bank account. So right now I can't physically cash stuff my bills binder as yet. But I know very soon that I will be. And so I have all of my categories, every single expense that I pay, every bill that I pay, I have all of the categories here and it's in my budget binder. In addition to these categories, I do have a monthly expense tracker. And this was a free printable, I think, in one of my previous videos. You're going to need to check out my videos to see which print, uh, which video has the, the link. But I keep track of my monthly expenses on this tracker here. So all of my categories that's in my budget binder is also on this monthly expense tracker so that I know how much money I need to apply. All right, and the same goes for my sinking funds as well. So I have a cash envelope tracker here. Again, this is a freebie in one of my previous videos. You know, just watch all of my videos and you'll find it there. All right, so uh, for my expenses, I have a tracker. For my cash envelopes, for my sinking funds and my saving challenges, I have a tracker there as well. And that's free, so that's one thing you don't have to buy, okay? Budget binder for my bills. Now, besides my bills, I do have savings challenges and I also have sinking funds. So I have a short-term sinking fund and by short term, I mean, I'm going to be spending this money between zero to six months. My kids always need something. I buy gifts, birthdays, Christmas, entertainment, date night. Christmas could possibly be a long term sinking fund. So I might switch that over to the next binder. Self-care, you should be having some self-care. It all depends on what's important to you. That's the short term sinking funds binder. And then here is my long term sinking funds binder. And usually this would be you know, what are your goals? What are your long-term goals? Family vacation is a long-term goal for me. A vacation, which is a vacation with my husband, who I call Bay, that's vacation. Um, college is a long-term goal. Emergency fund is a long-term goal, but it is a high priority for us. And I've already started uh, putting money towards this. I will have a separate video on uh, emergency fund as well. 
Um, miscellaneous is a long-term goal, one month ahead, anniversary, back to school, medical. So all of these are, you know, expenses or sinking funds that I expect to pay within six to 12 months or more. So, okay, so my short-term sinking funds, zero to six months. My long-term sinking funds, six to 12 months or more, okay? Six months to a year or more. And then finally, the star, this is the binder that I look forward to every single week. Like, I know I need to track my expenses and it's nice to make sure to put money towards my sinking funds because that makes me happy. For the savings challenge, this is the binder that helps everything to go smoothly. This is what I stuff after I'm done with my expenses and the money from my savings from these savings challenges can actually go to my sinking funds. If you are not able to get a savings challenge binder just yet because you're just starting out, you don't know how much money you're going to save. And there's nothing embarrassing about being on a low income. I don't want anyone to think, oh my gosh, I'm not going to say low income because I don't have low income. I, I make the normal average salary. I hear you. I got you. I understand that. Even for me saying low income, I felt like you, I don't make, I don't, I'm not low income. You, don't, I'm not going to say low income because... I want to have more income, whatever, whatever word that you want to use, a low budget, a small income, a small budget, whatever. Like for me, I'm fine with saying low income. I work hard for my money. I save and I spend my money wisely. I am financially responsible and more money is being attracted to me. So more money is coming and I will be upgrading to medium income. So understanding where I'm at, which is low income and where I want to go, which is middle income makes sense. Don't get caught up on the title guys. Don't get caught up on the name. You're missing the purpose of us cash stuffing. We're cash stuffing with what we have to be able to achieve more of what we want. Okay. My savings challenge binder is my baby. I love this binder with all my heart. If you're able to get at least one binder, maybe you might not be able to cash stuff your bills, you know, on camera. I don't know if you want to start a YouTube channel or not, but I, I'm not able to physically cash stuff because those funds can't come off my account right now. But what can come off my account is whatever is left over that I can apply towards my saving challenges. And from my saving challenges, I'm able to stuff my high priority sinking funds, short term and my long term. And that's it. All right. So I want to talk a little bit about savings challenges. You need to know what your financial situation is. You need to know what your cash flow is. I have tons of video going into detail explaining the savings challenges that I'm doing, why I'm choosing these saving challenges, what my budget is, and why I'm going to be achieving these, which goals I want to achieve. I did do a detailed video on that. And I wrote everything down, write everything down. I do, this is a happy planner. This was on sale on Amazon. That's why I got it. I don't pay full price for anything. I will catch a sale. And I have no shame saying that. If you see a sale, Black Friday is coming up. You don't even need to get started right now. Wait for Black Friday, catch the sale, buy on discount. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the saving challenge binder here. All right, so I do have trackers for, did I get chocolate on here? I, I did go into detail about my savings challenges. When you go through your monthly expenses and you see how much money you have left, every week I do a budget with me and I track my expenses. Without tracking your expenses, you're not going to know how much money you have. And if you don't know how much money you have to apply towards your savings challenge or to put into your cash envelopes, why are you doing it? Because it's trendy? because it's fun, because everyone's doing it. No, you need a better reason than that. What is the purpose of cash stuffing? First of all, does it work for me? Why am I doing it? And what are the results I'm expecting from cash envelope stuffing? So my videos are a little bit different. I ask some tough questions and I don't sugarcoat, sorry. You should be tracking your monthly expenses. You might need to spend one to three months tracking your expenses to see what your cash flow is like. When you know what your cash flow is like, you're able to know how much money you can put towards your savings challenges. When you know how much money you have towards your saving challenges, then you need to pick the saving challenges that matches this budget. 
does it look like I can do the 100 envelope challenge with a hundred, saving only $160 per week? Absolutely not. There's only 52 weeks in a year. And there, one week there's 100, one week there's 99, one week there's something excess. So it's going to take me 100 weeks maximum to complete that savings challenge. And I don't want to wait 100 weeks. We're going to get into savings challenges in another video, in a more detailed video as well. But I did do a video on that. Once you figure out what your savings is, then you know how much money you can put aside to save on a low income. All right. So I wrote down all of the savings challenges. I kind of wrote down my budget that I want. How am I going to split my budget up for these savings challenges? And all of this keeps me motivated. This is also a free download as well. Check my videos out. So once you have your envelope, you have your category, the next thing that you might want to, you know, what is nice to have, okay? Because you don't need to have these. You, this is nice to have. This is where you're spending just a little bit more. So you've purchased your budget binder. You've purchased your cash envelopes, okay? You kind of write down your categories that you're going to be cash stuffing, and that's basically it. Let's now move on to the nice to have. What's nice to have? What's 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 fun to make sure that your experience is 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 going to go nicely? I definitely recommend a calculator. These are inexpensive. You can find calculators on Amazon for around the ten euros or ten dollars, wherever it depends on where you are. Mark, um, you can around that budget. Okay, that's just going to make sure that you aren't just guessing off the top of your head. I work in finance. I can and I still use a calculator. It's a must-have. I've studied accounting. We use it. We use calculators as well. There's no shame. One plus one still is two. That's okay. I just want to make. I just want to see it. I want a second opinion. This is nice to have. If you're just getting started, maybe pen and paper. Just have a little piece of paper. One plus one. Write it down. Count on the fingers. Count, use your ten fingers. Use your ten toes if you want. But I feel like this just helps experience just it's just so nice to just look at your desk and see an aesthetic calculator matching your budget matching your budget binder and your envelopes okay so this is the nice to have what's also nice to have is savings challenges you can find principal saving challenges on etsy from a bunch of different etsy sellers like one frugal introvert cindy cat budgets uh cute budgets hot mess budgets um golden girl budgets Oh, geez, I've purchased from um, the Organized Owl. Who else have I purchased? Um, uh, Happy Mailbox, I think that's... Um, who else have I purchased budget from? I've not budgets, have I purchased? I, like, I've purchased a bunch of saving challenges. I'll probably do another video of all of the saving challenges that I have purchased. Some of them are minimal. Oh, myself, Inca Mibs. What am I saying? I also have saving challenges as well. Mines are on the more minimal side. If you're someone that loves beautiful, bright colors and, you know, Cindy Cat Budgets, she has some of the cutest saving challenges ever. If I just, I would purchase all of the cute ones, the cute, cute, cutesy ones, definitely. Like, I would just collect them just to say I have them because they're so cute, right? Those are nice to have. They help make your cash envelope stuffing method, your system, it helps just to make it so much fun. You don't have to just put the money straight into your envelope if you don't want to. Use a saving challenge that helps to make the just it just creates the environment that you can continue to do the cash envelope stuffing method. Now, I think that's basically it. OK, things that you may not need, but that you want. OK, dices like I love dice challenges, love dice challenges absolutely love dice challenges I, I think i have a few dice challenges in the back here as well uh tenzi shut the box and roll the dice like i cannot live without dices unfortunately i think i have i don't know i have over 100 dices right now um and i got them all off of shein so you can find dices cheap i got some dices off of amazon as well um so, like, these are the ones I got from Shein, and I think this came from Shein as well. So, you can find dices that have the numbers on them. If you have, like, more envelopes, cash envelopes, this goes up to 10. I think people have dices that go up to 20-something and more. That's a little, I mean, for me, you know, whatever floats to your boat. 
So these are the, you don't need them. They are nice to have, but this is more of a want. This, that's what I wanted. I bought these because I wanted them. Dices are nice is, is, is a want to have. Now, this tray here, this cash stuffing tray. This is actually a, for makeup, actually, to organize the palettes, makeup palettes. I hardly, hardly use it. And because it takes up so much space on my desk, I find myself just like if I have a lot of cash, obviously I'm going to use it. But when it's just a small amount, 160 euros, I don't necessarily need the cash tray. So this, the cash tray was a want to have. If you're going to be using your cash fillet a lot, um, definitely get it. But it was it like from the get go, from starting cash stuffing, I did it for mainly because I saw everyone else did it. So I just I just jumped on it because it was a trend. I hardly use it. I, it's nice to have. It was a want. It was not a need. You don't need a cash tray in order to do the cash envelope stuffing method. You do need to be organized. If the cash tray is going to help you be organized, you can invest in one. But you definitely need to invest in a proper budget binders. You, there's, there's even budget binders that are cheap. Like you can find budget binders like these, the clear ones. My only issue is that they don't... They don't stand up properly when you stack them to the side and like they fold and bend and I don't like that. With these ones, they're strong and so they stand up really nicely. I don't have any issues with them, see? And that's what I prefer, all right? And that's it. You need a pen and a paper and you need some sort of tracking system in place. You need to be able to track your expenses. You need to be able to track your cash. You need to be able to track your sinking funds. You need to be able to track your savings challenges. The cash envelope method is about stuffing cash, but you still need to track. You still need to do your part in terms of making sure that this system works. Anybody can take cash and put it into an envelope. That's, that's it. That's it. Cash envelope method done. However, what are you doing it for? What is your purpose? And what goals do you want to achieve? And what are the expected results? You need to consider all of that. Like you shouldn't be cash stuffing and not knowing the answers to any of these questions. The end result of me cash stuffing my savings challenges is that I will have an emergency fund of a thousand euros. I will have a sinking funds for college of a minimum of X, Y, and Z. I plan to invest a thousand into my vacation and that's going to be due April 2024 in the next five to six months. Can you say that with confidence? Get really intimate with your money get intimate with your cash envelopes i know all of the envelopes in here and i know the balances in these envelopes i know all of the categories in here and i know all of the balances in here as well i have all of my saving challenges for 2024 in here i know how much money i'm going to save with all of these savings challenges in here all of this information i have because I took the time, I sat down, and I write it all down. The only other thing that was nice to have for me was prop money. Because I'm not able to cash stuff the euros for my bills binder as yet, I used prop money. And I chose to use the, the U.S. prop money because it has the one euro, I mean, it has dollar bills, which we don't have in euros. The R1 euro and R2 euro are both coins. And I don't like to use coins. They're too bulky. They're too heavy for me. So if you're in Europe um, and you want to do cash stuffing and you're like, don't be concerned about prop money. Don't think that nobody's going to watch your video. If you, if, if that's your goal, if you want to be a YouTuber, don't think nobody's going to watch your video because you're using prop money and it's not real. Like sister, like my situation is very real. People want to be able to relate to your situation, not how pretty and, and how perfect you have it all together. It's nice. Like, I, I like, it's nice. If you have everything together, I, I admire you. I And I hope that you continue to have it all together. I'm in the process of being financially all together. That's my affirmation. I'm, I'm financially responsible and money is attracted to me. And I'm in the process of achieving my financial dreams, my financial goals and aspirations. And you should too. And if the cash envelope method is going to work for you, you, get, you just, you got to believe that it's going to work for you. But you won't know that until you actually get started. So, you know, watch a few videos on how to get started with the cash envelope method. It's good to get different opinions from different people. But for me on a low budget, like, keep it very simple. Keep it very minimal. 
Okay, don't get carried away purchasing too much saving challenges and not being able to complete them. Know what your budget is and choose saving challenges that matches your budget that's going to help you achieve your financial goals and your financial aspirations. Know what your financial goals and your aspirations are. I feel like I'm, am I ever being repetitive here? I feel like I've said that several times throughout these videos, but they say, science, you know, it's, it's so-called clean that if you say something three or four times, people tend to remember that if you only said it once, know what your financial goals are. <laughs> that was what, the fifth time. All right, what else is nice to have for me? Um, I made myself some prop notes because I, like I said, I don't have the one under two euros. And so when I'm doing like my condensing and stuff, I actually made some new ones here as well. I made a 25 euro one. Um, and I used matte. I used vellum and I used matte. Oh, and I love it so much. I love it. I think I made 25 euros. I think I made 50 euros. And I think I made, these are boo-boos actually. I got the ink smudged and I made 75 euros. Um, but I mainly use the one and the two euros when I'm doing my saving challenges. If you watch any of my previous videos. So this, 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 this here is, I would say this is a want. I wanted to have these. Okay. This is nice to have as well, but I wanted to have these and I purchased, I invested in the vellum sheet. I invested in the laminated sheet. I have videos on how you can make these cash placeholders as well. Check the video out. If you're just getting started. Maybe this is not in the budget right now for you. Maybe later on down, it's, it's you know, these are just pretty aesthetic stuff that I that helps me to stay on my journey. But this isn't something I purchased immediately when I first started my my journey um, back in June. So we have been cash stuffing for June, July, August, September, and now October. I've been cash stuffing for the last five months. And I can 100% say as a finance professional, it has been one of the, the, the most effective ways that I have been able to save money to achieve certain financial goals. I wasn't saving any money from the previous five months ago. Five months ago, I wasn't saving any money. I was spending everything. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I am still paycheck to paycheck. But now I have an emergency fund. I have money set aside for birthdays. I have money set aside for my kids. I have money set aside for upcoming financial goals. And I feel like I'm in a more financially positive state, if that makes sense. All right. I feel like I might be rambling just a little bit. I hope that what I'm saying you kind of understand and it inspires you to get started in the cash envelope stuffing method. Again, you have to decide how often you're going to do it. Is it weekly cash stuffing? Is it a, a bi-weekly? Is it monthly cash stuffing? And you also need to figure out how am I going to stay motiva motivated? Like, don't look at someone else's situation. I cash, I, I, my cash flow on a monthly basis is around 55, 5,500 euros. I have six kids though. So 5,500 would probably be great for a couple with no kids or one or two kids maybe. So my bills are different because of my financial situation. Maybe you see people cash stuffing thousands and thousands of dollars every week. Don't envy them. You do not know their financial situation. Maybe they have to. I don't have much debt. I, I have, we have two small personal loans, which is less than I think 3,000. We're currently looking into getting another loan to purchase a car, but that's it in terms of the debt that we have. So somebody else that's making $10,000 maybe or cash stuffing a large amount may have more debt. Okay, I'm renting. I don't, have a over, I don't have a mortgage. So financial situations are different. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Your journey, your financial goals and aspirations are very, very unique. Don't fall into the trap of just envying everybody and I wish I could do what they do and I wish I had more money to cash stuff. I do too. I, sh I certainly wish I had more money to cash stuff. But I'm happy with what I have and I'm hoping and making plans to receive more. I think this turned into more of a how to stay motivated during cash stuffing video as well. But um, I hope the message was relayed somehow. You now know what you need to start cash envelope stuffing. You, kn you, you know you definitely need your binder, your envelopes. You know, let's do a quick recap. You know you need your categories. You know you need your tracker to write down all of your expenses. You know you need a budget. I'm going to do a separate video on how to budget effectively. Okay, there are more videos to come. So, you know, just nice to have, need to have, wants, want to have, you know, things that help me to stay motivated while some cash stuffing. All right. So 
Thank you guys. Saving challenges, calculator, cash tray, all of the good stuff. Thank you. And all of his decorations on my table. This is once. Like you don't need a plan to get stuff. <laughs> you don't need plans. You don't need rings. You don't need any of this that I have on my desk here. All you need is your budget binder, your cash envelopes. Like I, I said it five times already. Budget binder, cash envelopes, put the cash in, write it down, keep a record. You are good to go. Have a calculator just to make it easier for you to keep track of everything else. And that's the bare minimum. Everything else is nice to have. And anything above nice to have is just things that you want to have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Get started in the cash envelope stuffing method. If you need any help, definitely reach out to me. My, my email is iancombabes at gmail.com. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.